Hi, and welcome to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big and not just win big once or twice, but every single time. So, as we get near the All Star break here of the Major League Baseball season, we have plenty of nice uh, matchups on tap for the weekend of July 5th through the 7th. So, let's take a look at some of these. Uh, if you don't already belong to the uh, club, if you haven't already joined, uh, join and you can have access to the Z Code VIP club section here, which has all the great tools to help you make your predictions. So let's scroll down through here and take a look at some of the games for this weekend. Uh, I'm not picking every game, so I'm going to pick some that I think will be the best matchups for the weekend. So you see here the Milwaukee Brewers and the Pittsburgh Pirates. So here we have a National League Central matchup between the first place Brewers and the fourth place Pirates. Uh, Let's take a look here what's happening between the two teams lately. You see the Brewers are burning hot. They have won their last three and four out of their last six. The Pirates are average up. They're coming off a two-game losing streak with a nice 18-5 to win over the Cubs. If you look at the power ranking indicator here, you will see how the teams are trending. And you see that here's the Brewers trending upward to plus 21. You see the Pirates were trending down up as far as plus 19 on June the 29th. And they're down to plus 10 at the moment. If you take a look at the totals predictor, if you're considering bettering the over and under, if you take a look at the red line compared to the blue line. See, the Brewers are playing in games that are trending under. The Pirates are playing in games trending under. So it's a good bet to place the under on this one for each game in this series. One other thing I like to look at, well, a couple other things I like to look at. If you look at the, uh, let's see, now here, the volatility oscillator, you will see that the Brewers are not a very stable team at the moment, meaning that they do not perform very consistently with their favorite or underdog status. So take that into consideration when considering betting for or against the Brewers in this series. I'm going to take a look also now at uh, the pitcher profit oscillator. I'm not going to show you how it works at the moment. I'm going to show you how it works with one of the other uh, series coming up. But just to give you an idea, um, of the six scheduled starting pitchers in this series, uh, Antonio, actually, no, that's the wrong team, excuse me, uh, Zach Davies for the Brewers on Friday at plus 1,562 is the most profitable, which means he's the best bet. Trevor Williams is the best bet for the Pirates. He goes on Saturday. He's at plus 916 profit. And Joe Musgrove on Sunday is the worst bet of any of the starting pitchers in this series. He's at minus 1,093. So I would say bet on the Brewers to take the series, and it will win two out of three. Scroll down through here to another matchup. Going to take a look at the Angels and the Astros. So we got the uh, AL West in this matchup. The Astros are in first place. They are burning hot at the moment. You can see that they've won their last three, coming off a sweep of the Mariners. You see the Angels are averaged down. They have lost their last three getting swept by the A's. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you will notice that the Astros are on a clear upward trend. They are way up here near the top of the, of the mark here at plus 28. You see here that the, the Angels are steady over the last couple of days. They are at plus 12. Take a look here again at the total predictor if you're considering betting the over and under. You see here that the Angels, looking at the red line compared to the blue line, they are playing in games trending under. You go down through here, you see the Astros are playing in games trending over. So since they are uh, trending on, on opposite sides of the line, it's best to avoid betting the over and the under in this series. We're going to take a look now at the, uh, we'll take a look at the volatility oscillator. Let's take a look at that to see how stable the teams are at the moment. You'll see that the Astros at plus 25 are among the most stable teams in the league, meaning that they're performing very consistent to their favorite and underdog status. That is a, kind of a very important thing to look at in this series. And also now, if we take a look at the starting pitchers, you notice that uh, the best bet for the entire series for both teams would be Jared Cole for the Astros. He goes on Saturday. He's at plus 888 profit. The worst bet is actually Justin Verlander. As great of a pitcher as he is, he has been the least profitable at minus 1,210. Looking at the Astros overall, 
Much better team, the Angels. They're playing at home. They will win the series and take two out of three. So let's go down through here. Some of the other ones. Here, the Colorado Rockies and the Arizona Diamondbacks. In this National League West matchup, you see the Rockies are averaged down. They have uh, won three out of their last six, coming off a loss to the Dodgers. Diamondbacks are always are also averaged down. They have gone three and two over their last six, coming off a loss to the Giants. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see both teams have been on a little bit of an upward trend here. Colorado is up to plus 20. Arizona is up to plus 16. Take a look at the total predictor. If you're considering the over and under, look at Colorado. They are trending in games slightly over. Arizona is trending in games quite a bit over. So it's a very safe play to bet the over for games in this series. So if I want to look at the pitcher profit oscillator here, I like to do that on some of these. And this time here, we will take a look at the actual pitcher profit oscillator. I'll show you how it works. You see here we have the Rockies and the Diamondbacks. So you, all you do is put the two teams in and put the pitchers that are scheduled to start. So on Friday, it's Antonio Sensatella against uh, Zach Greinke. So you scroll down through here and you can see their profit margin here, you can see now that both of them are profitable. If you go down here, you see the plus 641 for Centotella. And um, Greinke is a plus 2,973. He's one, he is the best bet this weekend. One of the best bets you will see with such a high profit number at plus 2,973. That's how it works. It's very easy to do. And you can, and you can look here and look at their trend and see how that works as well. So and that's the best bet for uh, Saturday or Friday is Granky. If you look at the rest of the weekend, Robbie Ray goes for Arizona on Saturday. He's at minus 1,996. So not a good play to bet on the Diamondbacks for Saturday's game. If you look overall at the series, uh, it looks like Colorado might have a slight edge overall on Sunday. So I would favor Colorado the, to eke out the series, and win it two games to one. Okay, so let's look at the Arizona. Okay, what did Arizona? Okay, let's look at Oakland A's versus the Seattle Mariners. So Oakland is burning hot at the moment. They have won five out of their last six games. Seattle, ice cold down. They are on a four-game losing streak, so they have struggled lately. Let's look at the power rankings indicator, and you'll see how this is reflected here as well. Oakland is at plus 22. Seattle on a downward trend. They're down to plus five at the moment, and they were after plus 10 just a short time ago. Let's look at the totals predictor. Over or under? Well, you can see here Oakland is trending in games under. And you can also see now here that Seattle is trending in games over, although they're on a downward trend in their game, but still they're still trending in games over. So since they appear on opposite sides of the line, I would not bet the over under on this one. I think it's best to avoid that in this series. If you look at uh, the pitcher profit oscillator this series, and you see something interesting, you would notice that Marco Gonzalez is the only pitcher out of the five that are scheduled that is in the green. He's at plus 440 profit. He is the best bet. Bet for him to win his game on Saturday against Chris Bassett. Overall, I think the A's are the better team. They will continue their hot streak and they will win the series two games to one. The last matchup I want to take a look at is the Padres and the Dodgers. An NL West matchup with the Dodgers holding a commanding lead in the division of 12 games, 14 over the Padres. You notice that both teams are average right now. San Diego has won four out of their last six, but have lost their last two. The Dodgers have won three out of their last six. Take a look at a power rankings indicator, and you will see that the Dodgers have been on a little bit of a downward trend. They're still solid at plus 23, and San Diego has also been on a downward trend. They are at plus 15. Betting the over-under, well, it's best to maybe avoid that on this one. So let's see if you think that is the case or not. Well... That's not the case. Look, San Diego is trending over in their games. The Dodgers are trending well over in their game. Bet the over the games in this series. Take a look at the volatility oscillator. You will notice 
that the Dodgers are among the most stable teams in the league at plus 28. Padres are not there at plus two. So that means that the Dodgers perform very much according to their favorite underdog status indicates. And being at home, the Dodgers will be the favorites. They will win this series. They will win at least two, and they could come away with the sweep. Those are all the matchups I want to look at, but I want to uh, let you know that if you're not interested in all the numbers and all these stats and everything, there's a more simple way you can actually go about making your bets. Take a look at the automated systems here. You can take a look at all the automated systems here. You, look at, you, go, you can look here at past performance. Again, you can see through all the years here, every month through every year, you can see here 2019. And let's take a look right here. This is the month of July. Make sure you take notice of what's going on in the month of July of this year as far as the top systems of this month. You can see right here where it says the top systems. Right here, there's the, the top ones. There's a list of five right here. And you can look at, look at all the systems as well. You don't have to limit yourself to the top five, but make sure you take a note and look at them as well and here you can see how everything is working in the top 100 systems profit there's the profit number you can scroll down through here and again you can pick your own systems as well you can just you know select your sport select baseball or whichever sport you're interested in at the moment in this case baseball since we went over the baseball games and you can look at everything here that is dealing with baseball at the moment so there you have it enjoy this week's games and again if you're not a member Please join up and you can join in the fun and not just have a lot of fun, but you can win big and win big consistently. Have a great week and we will see you next time.